What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition here of the Washington Football Maniacs. Hello, everybody. I'm Greg, and welcome. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel. My channel has been, uh, it's kind of been, I guess, struggling as of late. I've been a little lazy as well. Um, had a couple of weeks where I kind of knocked it off for a little bit, I'm trying to slowly get back into things, especially now since there's been a lot going on in Washington Commander's land. So with that said, let's get into today's video. So we're talking about Ron Rivera. You know, last week Ron Rivera fined uh, Jack Del Rio for his um, his words that he said on Twitter, which uh, from what I understand, I think Jack Del Rio has since uh, deleted his Twitter or at least deleted that tweet. I, I want to say he deleted, de deleted his entire Twitter. That, I'm trying to say that very del delicately, if I can even talk today. But uh, So anyway, speaking of fines, uh, then we get to, well, guess what? Uh, looks like Ron Rivera this time is the one who gets the $100,000 fine. This is for... Uh, excessive um, contact within um, the spring drills. And this was uh, according to Dan uh, uh, Gresnio um, of ESPN. Uh, the NFL Players Association reviewed practice video on June the 1st and 8th uh, per request to the commanders and informed the NFL Management Council that it felt those practices violated the collective bargaining agreement uh, prohibiting against live contact. The council, after reviewing the practice, agreed. And so the NFL informed the Washington General Manager and Martin Mayhew via a letter about the penalties. The letter stated, there's no question a team does this to gain a competitive advantage. So therefore, uh, Ron Rivera got a hundred thousand dollar fine for you know the, uh, the having excessive contact within the spring drill so therefore the penalties of course it's not just ron rivera getting a hundred thousand dollar fine but next year in 2023 uh, 20, uh, the commanders will lose two ota practices which i mean you know in a long Long run, I mean that really that hurts some some players who are really you know need that time to show what they can do. It hurts the younger players, and so whatever competitive advantage that may have for the team this year, it may lose a competitive advantage for some younger guys next year. So, you know, it is what it is, and uh, Rivera probably should have. Um, you know, been a little bit more cognizant with all of this. I mean, you know, yeah, there is kind of a bit of a, a I guess, the, the team as a whole, especially Ron Rivera. He's under a microscope right now um, after everything that's been going on with this team. You know, you do expect this team to go to the playoffs this year. It's, it's playoffs or bust. And not only that, it's a playoff win or bust. I think... Going to the playoffs this year is not enough for the Washington Commanders. They have to win at least one playoff game. I, I really believe that. And whatever game in the next, um, you know, round that they play in, they have to be extremely competitive in my mind, right? So they're going to have to look like a team that belongs in the playoffs. I think that is what I'm trying to say. And if they don't, then who knows what's going to happen with Rivera. Now, keep in mind, as much as I disliked what, what Ron Rivera did um, with Jack Del Rio, I really felt like Jack Del Rio had every right to say what he said, you know, free speech and all that. At the same time, you know, um, I, I just think that, um, you know, Ron Rivera is, is feeling some pressure. And I, I still think that he is one of the, the best uh, coaches, and I, he is my favorite. I mean, I, I won at Ron Rivera long before he came to Washington. 
and I was ecstatic when we got Ron Rivera. So, you know, having said all that, um, he is under a microscope, and if he doesn't perform, if he doesn't live up to expectations this year, we're going to have a long, hard look, and we're going to have to decide, is he going to be the coach moving forward? At some point, you have to get off the carousel, and you can't just keep switching coaches out every few years. Um, you know, I think overall there has been some good changes, but obviously real change is not going to truly happen until you get rid of the owner. And, you know, Congress is trying their best to get rid of the owner. I don't know really honestly how far that's going to go. Having said all that, folks, that is it for this video. Uh, what do you think? Ron Rivera getting fined $100,000. The team losing two OTA practices next year for excessive contact. Whew. And this is NFL Pro Football. Like, share, subscribe. Help this channel out. Help a brother out, man. All right? You take care. I'll see you in the next one.